So the story of my first Gibson is I didn't have a guitar. I was into punk music and I was just about to getting to the point where I wanted to start a band and not having a guitar, that doesn't really work being a guitar player. So <clears throat> my dad had bought this guitar and I was coveting it whenever he would, you know, be out of the house, I would sneak in there and play it and just kind of put it back and make sure it was exactly, he didn't really forbid me to play it, but you know, I just figured, you know, be kind of sneaky and surreptitious about my playing, but I was the lucky recipient of this guitar. Um, it was unexpected and really, really changed my life. I mean, obviously, I don't know what would have happened if I wouldn't have been given this guitar because it allowed me to start becoming a songwriter, to join my first band, um, and to just set me on this path that I'm still on, you know, 30 years later. So this guitar is is a really part of my life story, really. I don't really know what I would have done if I wouldn't have gotten this guitar. For us, you know, being punk rockers, you know, from the 80s, being young kids, being teenagers, being 15, 16, 17 years old, to have this was, I was kind of like out of my league, but it made, it gave me a little bit of a more swagger than I would because it's like, okay, this guy's got this guitar. He can't be a beginner. I mean, you know, so this kind of, I had to live up to the, to the promise of this guitar, I think with my playing. So I had to kind of step it up. Every single thing on this guitar is original. I mean, you could kind of tell it's so dirty. This is all original uh, 1997 dirt in here. Um, yeah, this guitar, I mean, I don't really, I can't remember not knowing how this guitar felt because I've always had it and it was the, the guitar I learned how to play on, the guitar I learned how to write songs on. So this is just such a natural extension of me that I can't even remember it being new and picking up and being like trying to figure out how to play it. This is just, to me, the Les Paul Studio is is just an extension of me as a guitar player. So yeah, I can only imagine picking it up for the first time. It must've been awe-inspiring because I was just a grommet who didn't know how to really play. And so yeah, this guitar was really quintessential and crucial for me starting my music career. Early AFI stuff, you know, the f Black Sails, I would have written all of Black Sails on this guitar. So yeah, everything I did was, was this guitar. Cause like I say, it wasn't until sort of this art of drowning that I got another guitar. So, which was another Les Paul. Um, but I still went back to this one because my second guitar that I got was a standard and it was a tank. It weighed a ton it sounded amazing, but you know, jumping around on stage, it was a little heavy. So this one still continued to be my go-to guitar through. So I guess for basically like eight or nine years, this was the only guitar I had. So this guitar will always be my number one guitar. I mean, there's no other guitar that even comes close as far as sentimental value, as far as the history. This guitar is contains my entire history as a songwriter and as a guitar player. And so, you know, it's it's still got all the dirt and disgusting sweat and blood and everything and dust and just caked into every square inch of it and rust and just the living that it's seen. So I don't, I'm never gonna clean it. I'm never gonna change it. I'm never gonna change the pickups. I just want it to be like this because it's basically my little, you know, museum encased in an instrument. <laughs>